the same concept with the DeKalb, uh, um, a mid-season variety with uh, straight cutting capacity. So we want that um, that genetic uh, traits of uh, pod drop, uh, integrity, and uh, splitting and all that uh, that comes along with uh, having good standing canola and also the reduced losses that uh, can come along with those characteristics. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, uh, this variety, variety also has uh, some club resistance uh, package built into it as well. So you mentioned the the um, pot shatter resistance. Uh, is there intent to straight cut this or swath it, or what's what's the plan around that? Uh, so last year we straight cut all of it. Uh, last year was a Liberty. Uh, that is also another reason why we chose uh, um, uh, just a different chemistry this year uh, for mm -hmm. better weed control. Uh, so, so last year was Liberty uh, L255 PC, um, and that was straight cut. And this year okay. uh, the goal is to do the exact same thing. Uh, we're just switching the chemistries out. And I think it's important for producers to recognize that just because you're seeding a straight cut variety, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be straight cutting it. Um, mm -hmm. But it certainly does give you flexibility if weather turns on you in the fall or, you know, um, thing, crops mature a lot quicker than you expect. The, uh, the straight cut um, or shatter resistant canola varieties just give you a little bit of reassurance and, and insurance that um, you're not going to lose those pods. Um, you know, to weather conditions as easily. They certainly will hang on a lot better and uh, give you a lot better flexibility during harvest time. Yeah, that's that's a good point. It does uh, uh, open up that, that opportunity to make different decisions in the fall as they come, uh, typically based on weather and, and flexibility around that. That's a very good point. Mm -hmm.